Amortization is a big word for a concept we're all familiar with. To amortize a loan simply means to pay it off in regular payments. So an amortization table is a chart that has a row for each payment that you're making on this loan. And for each payment it shows how much is going towards interest and how much is going towards paying down the loan. They're really useful because not only can you see what your balance is going to be at any given time, when you've made them in Excel, you can also use them to see what would happen if you make an extra payment, how much interest you'd save, or if you miss a payment. You're not helping. Dixie needs to buy a new computer so she can run the software she needs for math class. She found just what she needs for $700, but like most of us, she doesn't have a spare $700 laying around. Best Buy will finance it over two years with an APR of 11.9%. Calculate Dixie's monthly payment, then make an amortization table for the loan. If Dixie applies an extra $200 of her tax refund to the balance in the fifth month, how much interest will she save? The first thing that we need to do is calculate the monthly payment. Since this is a loan, we'll use the PMT formula for that. So we start by listing all of the variables in the PMT formula. Once we've done this, we can put in the formula with cell references in cell B4 where it's labeled payment. Then now that we have the formula, we can enter in the other values that are given in the problem. We don't need to use goal seek because we're looking for the payment. So Dixie will need to pay $32.92 every month for two years. Now it's time to make the amortization table. In this first video, I'll walk you through setting up the amortization table and we'll do the calculations for it in the next video. To make the table, you'll need your columns to be a little bit wider so that you can put the headings in them. So it's a good time to do that now with the first five columns. Now we need to put in the column headings, the month, the payment, the interest, the principal, and the balance. Now we'll start filling in the month column. You should always start with month zero because there's usually a time between when you take out the loan and you get the item that you've, you've borrowed the money for and the time when the first payment is due. The next month will be month one, and we'll need to fill this in going down to however many months the loan is for. This is a two-year loan, so that's 24 months. But instead of typing the numbers 0 to 24, which it's really easy to make a mistake doing that, use Excel's Fill feature. Make sure when you do this that you go down to where the pop-up says 24. Don't go to the row 24, you won't go far enough. You'll notice in this case we have to drag down to row 35. So watch the pop-up and then double check to make sure it actually has the numbers down to 24 when, it, when you let go. So in that month between when she takes home the new computer and before the first payment is due, she's paid zero dollars of payment. If you put in the dollar signs here, it will help Excel set up the formatting of the numbers for you. Since she hasn't made a payment yet, she hasn't paid any interest yet and she hasn't paid toward the principal balance of the loan yet either. That means the remaining balance on the loan is still the full $700. And the payment she's going to make we already calculated. So we can fill in the balance of $700 and the payment of $32.92. After this, we'll need to use Excel to do calculations for the rest of the columns. 